And we are pleased to be joined this morning by the head coach of the Fighting Irish, Marcus Freeman, who's on his morning walk. He's on the beach, I understand, too. Marcus, thank you for being with us. So as you go on these walks in the morning and with a great defensive background you have as a coordinator and a great player here at Ohio State, when you know you're having to deal with Caleb Williams, how does that impact the pace of your morning walk? <laughs> Uh, well, it makes me walk a little bit faster, you know, that I need to get back and probably watch a little more film and make sure us as a staff are, are ready to go. He's a, a, a talented football player um, that does a lot of things work really well, and, and he runs that offense to perfection. So it's a huge challenge. Our guys are excited and ready for the task. Marcus, how would you compare the difference we're going to see from the Notre Dame team that will take the field tonight as opposed to the one that took the field on opening night here in Columbus against Ohio State? Well, it starts. we got a new quarterback. Um, our starter got hurt week two, and uh, Drew Pine has, has done a tremendous job in leading this football team and this offense. Um, you know, it's a confident team. You know, sometimes it takes those wins. It takes uh, winning continuously to, to gain that confidence that you need um, to have success. And, uh, you know, I think myself as an individual, as a head coach, has had a lot of growth. Uh, throughout this season, but our team has, has grown tremendously. Marcus, it's Kirk. Before I ask you about today's game, the fans here remember you as number one as a Buckeye. You have any thoughts today? Anything you want to say to the fans here at Ohio State? Hey, listen, there's one thing that you'll, you'll know in the Freeman household that we're always rooting for Ohio State, and that's for sure on this one. <laughs> Amen. The, the perseverance of your team, we talked this week about lose your first couple, you get it together, you, you lose your quarterback to an injury, you have a, you know, you get it going again with a couple big wins and a setback against Stanford, now five in a row. Just what, what have you learned about the resiliency of this team as you guys get ready to take on this, uh, this SC team tonight? Well, I think you, you used the, the perfect word. They're a resilient group of guys. And um, it starts with our leaders. It starts with those captains. And, and, you know, I've said this before, is that I think our university attracts uh, resilient people. It, it's difficult sometimes to, to be a student at Notre Dame, to, to, to uphold the standards that they have. And, um, you know, this, this place attracts resilient people. And this, these young men are, are resilient individuals, and they've been resilient all year long. Coach, it's been a pleasure watching your team bounce back, especially in that Clemson game, the way you guys played. Your defense has really stepped up to the plate. How would you describe the personality of your defense? You know, I think they've, they've kind of figured out who they are. You know, I think when you all of a sudden, the former defensive coordinators, the head coach, everybody says, oh, it's going to be the same. We hired a new defensive coordinator, and Coach Golden had to put – um, his thumbprint on this defense, and he's done a tremendous job, and, and they're aggressive in attacking, but you know what? They have a lot of different answers, and uh, they're really starting to gel together and play well, and they, they played well all season long, um, but but they've been playing really well these past few weeks. I've heard some boos for you, Dad. Sorry about that, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some things never change, Marcus. You know, how, you know like, Marcus, thanks a lot for being with us. Wish you the best of luck tonight. All right, thanks, guys. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.